here's God preaching a sermon. Somebody should be taking notes. Hey everybody, this is Mark Lowry, and you're listening to the Mark Lowry Show, Here Mark, number 24, and I'm sitting here on the back porch, I was just having an incredible conversation with a friend of mine, Shelly Kennedy. Yes. Say hi, Shelly. Hi. And uh, we were talking about how God is in the interruptions. I was telling her how Gloria Gaither had spoken to me a few, maybe a year or so ago. I asked her what she was thinking about, because when we get together, I always ask her what she's thinking about because she's always thinking you know her blonde hair doesn't go to the root she's a brilliant woman and I asked her one day what she was thinking about she said I'm thinking about how God is always in the interruptions sometimes he's in our plans but he seems to always be in the interruptions well last night I just sat here on the back porch uh, working on these videos and it was great because I was alone, nobody was on the property, it was just incredible. And all of a sudden a friend of mine shows up and she'd been crying and she uh, interrupted me. And I was annoyed because it was a marital problem and I know nothing about all that stuff. All of a sudden I remembered what Gloria said and I was sitting there being annoyed that my friend was having marital problems again. And she said to me, I thought you might have something from the Lord or you're always talking about Jesus and God. I thought maybe you'd have something from me. And that kind of pierced my heart. And I said, well, you know, I do. I said, I want to know. Does he want to work it out? She said, yes. I said, do you want to work it out? She said, yes. I said, then go home and work it out. And I told her about the interruption thing. I said, tonight this was an interruption for me, but I really think I was supposed to stay home because... God knew you were coming. And it's Father's Day and her father had died this year. And that was adding more stress and pressure and sadness to her day. And so top that with marital problems and then you've got a real sad lady. So um, she said he wants to work it out. She said she wants to work it out. I said go home and work it out. And she looked at me and said, okay, thank you. I said now make sure you get a counselor to help you. Okay. We will. And she looked at me like I was her dad or I was God or something. And she left and went home to work it out. This is pet peeve week. I don't know if you know that. Pet peeve. What is your pet peeve? My pet peeve is being interrupted. But God is always in the interruptions. And if you look at the Bible, he was in the interruptions. Jesus was walking down the road one day. We don't know where he was going, but the woman with the issue of blood touched his garment and interrupted his journey, and that made the Bible. Jesus was preaching one day. We don't know what he was preaching about because nobody took notes. Here's God preaching a sermon. Somebody should be taking notes. No notes were taken, but they sobbed through the roof. They let a crippled guy down in front of him. He healed him, and it made the Bible. Hey, listen, you never know. In 2,000 years, they might be reading about your interruption. <laughs>